If this is what they plan to do to the pyramids, imagine what they will do to Gobekli Tepe in a few years. First, they close off these sites from the public, citing preservation of cultural heritage and not wanting archaeological findings to be contaminated. Then, they prevent teams from investigating hidden chambers and cavities found via sonar scans. Immediately after, they plan to slap their graffiti tag all over these structures. The head of Egypt's Supreme Council of Antiquities shared a video on Facebook showing renovation work on the Menkore Pyramid to replace its lost granite covering. They aim to restore the ancient structure's original form over the next three years but critics argue the project disregards established archaeological norms prohibiting renovations. Commenters compared the project to straightening the Leaning Tower of Pisa and sarcastically suggested wallpapering the pyramid instead of covering it in massive granite blocks. It is the latest case of outrage over Egypt's handling of ancient sites, typically used to boost the economy and turn the country into a great tourist trap. This is why a renovation project at one of the pyramids of Giza has sparked outrage online. Protests also erupted recently when parts of Cairo's historic area were destroyed, and officials announced an investigation after a contractor painted over ornate parts of a 15th-century mosque in Alexandria. Imagine a street artist fixing and tagging the Mona Lisa, or authorities fixing the Colosseum with concrete inferior to Roman concrete. What will they do next? Will they install a bathroom inside the Great Pyramid? How long will the world keep believing that the ancestors of the people currently residing in Egypt were the true builders of the pyramids? They clearly have no recollection of how those pyramids got there, what their true purpose were, and have no depictions of how they were actually built, in the first place, or how they should be preserved. First, their government ministries closed off various sections and restricted access citing restoration to preserve their original state. However, they are actually wholesale removing and dumping artifacts. Now, they're not even bothering to make up lies. They're making wholesale changes, replacing things with modern facades which are far inferior to the original polygonal megalithic artisan masonry work of the ancient world. These structures were made from natural stones with no cement, mortar, or steel rebar that will later rust and deteriorate. What construction method do we currently use that will last past 200 years? The ancients built something that lasted 4,000 years, and I'm pretty sure all the buildings in New York and Tokyo will not last another 400 years, while I'm pretty sure the pyramids will last another 10,000 years.